This is the PC Expert Amateur, and we're going to take a look at the, I think the last Noctua in my inventory at this time. It is the Noctua NF-A14 Industrial PPC-3000 PWM. And it comes in a very conservative, minimalistic packaging, which is part of the reason that it's less expensive in some respects. Also, it doesn't come with a bunch of extras. It just comes with screws. Unlike other Noctua products, the industrial line is very basic in what is included. In return, what, what you get is power. And this is it here. Now this one, I have two of these, and this one for some reason when it came out of the box it had that kind of burned plastic smell. Um, I've had no problems with it. The other one doesn't have that smell. I don't know if I should have returned this one perhaps. But uh, yeah, it does have three lines on the blades here that are for air direction. And it does have the little indentations in the ring along both uh, around both sides of the ring. I don't know if you can see those or not. It's kind of hard to show them. If you look very carefully, you might be able to see them over here. Nope, not over there. Uh, over here. But yeah, those are, I think, for helping with the uh, noise levels. These are mildly textured. Let's go ahead and listen to them. And they are, uh, they are a PWM fan with corner cushions and a sleeved cable. All right. Let's get ready to rotate. E, e. Okay, fan fans. If it's going to, there we go. It takes a, a bit of power to get it to start moving. And it is not quiet like the NFA 12 by 25. Let's see if I can get it down lower than this. Nope, it has a very definite cutoff point. And yes, it starts that loud, but it gives you so much in return. So quite a bit of noise, however, also quite a bit of pressure and airflow at 3,000 RPMs. And just doing the little very untechnical test of static pressure, I can feel it way over here. That is, I think right here is really firm. So I'm thinking that's about four. Uh, four and a half, somewhere around there. I don't have very many fans that go that far away from my hand, so I'm, I'm doing a little bit of estimating there, looking at the distance. On the box, it says 10.52 millimeters of water. Well, I don't know. Can 10.52 only go that far? It seems kind of short, but yeah, this is, you can use this on whatever. I mean, this would be, if you have like a 280 or three, a 420 millimeter or 140 millimeter AIO or a custom loop with a one four, uh, 140 design uh, radiator or whatever, um, this is gonna be one of the best choices for um, your water cooling. And if you have a 140 heat sink or a double 140, also excellent case 
excellent. There's no downside except for the noise. And I will say, I've used this on my uh, intake, which is what uh, Noctua recommended when I asked them where I should put it. Um, they, they, and uh, when it gets up high is when I really notice it. When it was low, I really did not notice it, even though it was you know, a couple feet away from me. Um, I never really noticed the noise. Um, but once it got up high, yeah, absolutely. But, you know, cases do muffle noise. Let's go ahead and look at the specs. Okay, the Noctua NF-A14 Industrial PPC-3000. Now, this is different from the regular NF-A14, okay? Don't get confused. Um, it is a $37 fan, where it was when I bought it, anyways. With the way prices have been skyrocketing, who knows what it is now. It's made, uh, it's certified with C-E-N-R-A-O-H-S. I'm sorry, I'm sleepy. China, 140 by 25 millimeters, greater than 150,000 hours of life because of the amazing SSO2 uh, bearings. Six hour, uh, six year warranty. Oh, see, I'm really tired, sorry. 200 grams of weight, seven blades. Uh, the distance between the, the mounting holes, which I forgot to put down, on here is 125 millimeters, 800 to 3,000 RPMs with a 10% variance, maximum airflow of 158.5 CFMs, or in metric that would be 269.3 CMH, and maximum static pressure of 6.58. Now, again, on the box, it gives me a very different number. And I'm wondering if the why that is because the website says 6.58, and yet this says 10.52. I'm gonna, I don't know, 41.3 decibels, 40 centimeter fan a cable that is sleeved, but no daisy chaining. PWM SSO2 bearing, um, which again is probably the best bearing I've seen thus far. Uh, 12 volts, 6.6 .6 watts with a max of 7.26. So yeah, it uses a, a lot of uh, wattage. Um, and 0.455 amps or maximum of, or safety of 0.61. And this is because um, going to be important because when you are plugging these in, if you've got one amp headers on your motherboard, you're not going to be able to plug in more than one of these to a header with a splitter or something like that, a repeater like on the, the Corsair crap repeaters that even use power supply um, help, but still, uh, you don't want to really do that on there. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's a little bit challenging. Indicators of rotation and flow turns in a clockwise direction. You get four screws, you get four corner cushions, and that's it. I'd like to thank Grindler at Bleeping Computer for allowing me to share my videos and posts on his website. Bleeping Computer has a lot of resources, including vetted programs, malware removal instructions, uh, malware removal volunteers, uh, other kinds of volunteers for IT, cybersecurity information, and more. It's a great place to go. Give it a try. Thanks for watching and hope you have a great day.